people who are sound within their thinking, people who are sensible. You operate in senses. Well, I read a book, uh, and, and I love this book. It says, according to your faith, your pastor wrote it. And, and it talks about the fact that you have to detach yourself from your senses. Our problem is we see too much, we hear too much, we thinking according to what we looking at. We allow our feelings, and if you, if you allow me just to be free, we allow our feelings, and if you're not careful, your feelings will cause you to vibrate on a frequency that will attract stuff into your life, and if you are vibrating the wrong thing, you will cause some things that are not meant for you to enter into your atmosphere and into your space. So since we got about 100 days left in 2018, you don't have time to be rational. Okay. You don't have time to be trying to, well, let me figure this out according to my calculations, according to my education, according to my degree, according to what makes sense to me. Now, one of the issues is we have a conscious mind, everybody say a conscious mind, and a subconscious mind. Okay. Your subconscious mind is where your paradigm is. So depending on where you grew up, I'm from Buffalo, New York, and, and, and you know, we, we did things a certain way, you know, so in our conscious mind, you can get excited, say, you know, I'm getting ready to lose weight, I'm getting ready to be fine in 2018, praise God, I'm getting ready to be great. But your subconscious mind has a program that says, eat when you see food. <laughs> see, I, I grew up, the way I grew up, when we were happy in our household, we had to get some good food some good wings and, 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 and somebody had to cook something. Anybody know what I'm talking about? You had to get something good to eat. When you're in a good mood, I need something good to eat. Praise God. Well, that paradigm has not shifted, even though in my mind, I'm thinking I want to look a certain way. I want to work out. I want to be more healthy. How many know your health is your wealth? I want to be more healthier and everything. And, 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 but because of the way my I was brought up, I think a certain way when it comes to food. I, you know, emotionally, if I'm happy, now I'm happy mo majority of the time, so that means majority of the time I'm eating. And until you shift your paradigm, until you shift your mental program, it's not that the word don't work. It's not that faith don't work. It's not that the power of God don't work. The problem is we have dominion in the earth and what happens, we will get in the way of what God is trying to do. Somebody touch your neighbor and say, don't block the flow. You don't want to block the flow. Don't block the flow with your rational thinking. Trying to figure it out. Trying to see, well, how am I going to take this business to the next level? If you in sales, you got to get radical. If you in network marketing, you got to get radical. If you got a job, you got to get up in the morning. See, we start our morning off wrong. We used to get up and we tired. You know, I don't know why everybody tired. Just everybody, folks, just, just tired. You, you know, I'm tired of my job. I'm tired of driving this car. I'm tired of living here. I'm tired of wearing these clothes. Oh, I'm tired of looking like this. Ooh, how you doing? I'm tired. It's like, what is wrong? You're supposed to be excited about your future. The reason is, it's because you are creating your future every minute and moment of the day. You ain't got time to get into a vibration or, or feeling or into a church vernacular. You ain't got time to be operating no spirit that's going to cause you to miss out on what God is doing.